Welcome to our World of Fiery videos, covering topics of everyday importance to print providers. Today we will cover understanding how optical brightening agents, OBAs, work to whiten paper and how to profile paper with optical brightening agents. The issue with optical brightening agents. So an optical brightening agent, or what we're going to call an OBA for the sake of not having to say optical brightening agent too much, is a chemical that the paper manufacturer adds in the paper making process. The OBA is designed to make a low quality sheet look nicer. Basically, it's a chemical that causes the paper to glow in the presence of ultraviolet light. White surface, like maybe you have a white shirt on in a disco, and you're in that black light and it glows, that's what the OBA is doing in your paper. One way I can identify an OBA is I can shine a black light on the paper, and you see how we see in this example here, the paper glowing. This is a sheet that has a large amount of optical brighteners in it. Okay? Nothing specifically wrong with optical brighteners. We want sheets to look bright and white and very high quality, even if maybe they're not the most costly material that we're choosing to print on. But the problem is that because these optical brighteners fluoresce or glow, in the presence of ultraviolet light, we're going to have to take them into consideration when we make profiles for that paper. Here's the reason. The optical brightener makes the sheet look more blue. If I put a printed sheet in a light booth, which we should all be doing with our prints for our customer to approve them, that's the place where we would expect the color managed print to look its absolute best, I have the following problem. In 2009, the ISO changed the specification for light booths and added UV to the booth. So if you look back a number of years, you probably had some spectrophotometers that had a filter on them called a UV cut spectrophotometer. That UV cut spectrophotometer cut out all the effective ultraviolet light in your measurements, meaning no matter how much OBA was in the paper, you could measure it, filter out the effect with the instrument, your light booth before 2009 also didn't have any ultraviolet light in it, so the sheet wouldn't glow in the booth. You didn't measure the glowing in making your profile, and everything worked very well. 2009, things got more complicated. Because the ISO added UV to the specification for the light booth, now if I measure a sheet that has optical brightening agents with a UV cut, a filtered spectrophotometer, I filter out all that glow, right? I don't get any of that bluing of the paper in my measurements. As soon as I show the customer in my modern light booth that print, they're going to say it looks too blue because it's going to glow to the blue. Okay? The way we solve this problem is we use a new measuring mode on the spectrophotometer. So there are three modes on most of your modern spectrophotometers called M0, M1, and M2. M0 is to include all the effects of ultraviolet light, meaning we measure all the effects of the OBA in the sheet. M2 is the old standard for cutting out all the ultraviolet light. And as I said, it worked terrifically up until 2009, but that's when this ISO spec changed and things got more complicated. If I really want to match a light booth and match color in a light booth, the condition that I should measure in is always what we call M1. M1 specifies that our measurements include exactly the same amount of UV radiation that's in the B50 light booth. That means that we'll get a very precise match when we profile that paper and take our print and put it in a light booth that has that D50 ISO specified amount of UV radiation. Thank you for watching. For additional resources and e-learning classes on this topic, visit our website. To see all recorded sessions and register for upcoming World of Fiery webinars, please visit efi.com forward slash WOF webinars.